shit. Yeah, man, Holy it's been a while. Shit. It's been a while since we've done this fucking <sighs> shit, man. Two years. Two fucking years. Jesus. Two years. You have to go to school and fuck off. And yeah, then... art school, man. Art school. I should be doing homework right now. I got I homework know. on my chair over there. Well, that's why I came over bringing gifts. I'm glad. All right, well, what do we got here? And you said it was going to be a surprise. So. It's, it is a surprise. It do is I got to taste it first? I think I might get you to smell it and taste it, and I'll tell you okay. what it is. Okay. But I will tell you one thing. It's from Toolship. Okay, good. Toolship's been rocking it these days. I've been liking their brews. So. They have, and I'm going to let you know another thing. Yeah. I'll let you pour first. All right. It's not going to be a light one. All right. This comes in at 8.2% alcohol by volume. Oh, oh, dripping here. I'm dripping. What the hell, dude? Dripping on my pants. I'm not used to pouring out of growlers. <laughs> These are clean pants too. Well, now they're not. Get a girl out with these pants, but I guess not. Oh, look <laughs> at you go. See, a little beer on the knee does a does a body good. I'll just massage that in there, so I'll smell like a fucking alcoholic tonight. <laughs> that's great. That is that's uh, great. You just say that some bastard came over and uh, was an yeah. asshole to you. I'll do that. Yeah, terrible, terrible asshole. All right, so I'll let you smell it and see All what right. you think. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Smells Belgian-y. You, you smells, get yeah, smells. You get got some spice in there. Yep. Got that kind of sweet cinnamony, like, like chicory All spice aroma. And... Yeah, dude. Yep. Yeah, it smells Belgian-y. It smells. It's. I'm gonna guess this is a some kind of like a Belgian blonde or something like that. Um, Look at you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Were you pimping out my stuff and trying to see? No, I, I no, I just, I, I, you know, Belgian Belgian ales happen to be my my favorite style of beer. So, yep, yep, yep. All right, well, since you've uh, smelt it and you pretty much guess what it is, yeah. it's what's in tank number two. It's a Belgian strong golden mm, ale. Semenefik. I cannot wait to try this. So, I uh, since you've guessed everything, I'm gonna <laughs> let you taste it. Cheers, Cheers. my friend. Bottoms up. Oh, it's so nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really good. Mm. Now you do get the the spices on the on the mouth and yep. everything yep. else. There's a little something interesting in the in the back of the, in the back of the throat, like a little a little bit of a. Let me try it again. There's <laughs> like a little sourness um, that I haven't really I haven't seen in a lot of Belgian beers. Not nope. like not un, not an unpleasant or an overpowering one. No, exactly. Uh, just uh, if you've ever tried sour beers before, it kind of reminds me of a bit of that flavor. But you don't taste it on the front of your tongue. You taste it like right at the back. Yeah, it's swallowing. It's quite nice. Right, does, you does want no... some beer, kitty? You want some beer? <laughs> <laughs> you want some tool shed? It's, it's not the same as what the swill you drank lately. Is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you would love swill. So the back background story to this is that Graham did not know what was going on here. Right. So hence what's in uh, the tank number two. Okay. So the head brewer went and decided to make something, yeah. not tell him what it was, really? and then give it to him afterwards. Did he like it? Obviously. I, yeah, I, I, I was going to say, how could you not like this? this? This is quite nice. It is very beautiful. And coming in at 8.2%. So you smooth. Don't oh, even taste it. It's as smooth as a 5% beer, easily. It is. But you do notice after like the first few swallows, you just get that little hint of that nice little tummy warming feeling, which... I mean, makes Belgian males fantastic for a cold night. Or, oh, yeah. Or really any time. Oh, exactly. Ever. <laughs> so. yeah, no, this is very true. And I, I've i always, like, well, I tried this a little bit yesterday, and I was yeah. like, oh, my God, I know who to go to. I yeah. know where to go to. This tastes like it was brewed recently, too. Like, this tastes fresh as fuck. It was brewed, well, yeah, it was kegged, I think, uh, three, four days ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. So. It tastes really, <laughs> yeah, it tastes super fresh, so. Oh, yeah. So they are going to be putting this in cans later on. Yeah. Um, and Graham liked it so much, he's actually wanting to give it a little bit of an extra pizzazz. Oh, yeah? He's looking to barrel age this. Oh, too. fuck yeah, dude. Barrel age so. the shit out of this, dude. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. So, I know I'd be buying it in a heartbeat if it's barrel aged. I'm not yeah. going to say what, well, he told me, so maybe I'll just tease it out there. Right. He wants to do red and white barrels. <laughs> He wants to do red and white barrels for this, yeah. so I'm looking forward to a barrel aged version of this. Fuck yeah, dude. Like, that, that would. If you would ask me, like, what you could do to make this any better, I would struggle to think of something, but barrel aging, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is, like, it's so smooth. It is amazing. It is absolutely wonderful. I'd give it a four or five right off the bat. Definitely. Yeah. 
See, I, I'm, I'm going 4.5 out of 5 on this. Really? Yep. Really? I do like it. It's easy drinking, and yes, you get a yep. warming sensation. Yeah. See, for me, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, it is, yeah. I'm a, like a super stickler on my Belgians, though. And like when I think of things like uh, like Orval or like the Rochefort series and whatnot, I rate those at like four and a half to fives because those are to me, there's like those are like the perfect beers. Yeah. Um, but but yeah. you're also comparing Belgian Strongs with Trappist, which is... yeah, yeah. And I'm also <laughs> comparing, you know, like a nine dollar single bottle of beer to something that's probably a little more reasonably priced. Well, so. Kind of. Yeah. They're 64 ounce, it's 24 bucks. Oh, wow. So. <laughs> All right. So they obviously put a lot of effort into this one. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, they definitely did. And definitely I mean, shows through. I definitely do enjoy this a lot. Yeah. Um, I've got to post my review of their last one I tried. That one was a little different, and I felt so bad about my review I was going to do with it. Uh, or I have done with it. Yeah. But this one, had to do it right away. Fucking right. I'm really liking, too, that the paint I have on the inside of this glass isn't coming off. So that's, that's a good yeah. sign. <laughs> Yeah, this is one of my glasses that I think I had some paint brushes in and I tried to clean it out. It didn't quite work, but whatever, right? Fuck it's it. it's now an artist um, yeah, this, glass. This, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's, an art, it's a performance piece. And I'm glad you didn't give me that glass. No, I thought I'd come by, drop this off for you. Yeah. I got a couple more things in the vehicle that I forgot to grab. <laughs> no worries. God damn it. Beer was first. Beer is always first. However, huh. that is going to be for you. Oh my God. So you get your own 32 ounce. What did I do to deserve this? I don't know. It's the closest thing I'll ever have to a real son. As Noah's looking at like, <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> you pooped in my bathtub once. <laughs> so does a child. Oh, yeah. But this, I, I assume that this will not cause me to poop in my bathtub, nor will it poop in my bathtub. Maybe. You don't know. <laughs> if, I, if I chug this all if, instantly in one go... It could be a very good yeah, possibility. I'm going to guess there's a chance, yeah. Yeah. So, Damn. no, honestly, I, I thought, what the hell, you've got a day off, finally. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, my life's a little busy these days, so... It yeah. has been, so I thought I, I bring the old crew back. You missed out on the 100th episode. And it was a good one, as you saw. You missed out on the double Trappist. I'm a bad person, all right. I'm a terrible person. Yeah, whatever. But I'm trying to get a degree. <laughs> so. You're trying to do this whole school thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to like graduate with honors, you know, get like a high GPA. I don't know if they do that anymore, but it just looked really good on my fucking papers and shit. So. Anyways, folks, I'm gonna let you go because this guy's gotta get back and do homework. Ha, -ha sucker! <laughs> but at least I got like a nice little buzz going on now. Yeah, you can like, actually concentrate properly. Yeah, exactly. Pretty much, man. How do you Pretty think much. I edit my videos? Oh, dude, how do you how do you think I write all of my papers? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Drunk as fuck. Yeah, dude. <laughs> well, for now, folks, I'm PK, and you remember Johnny Old School. If you haven't, he's back well, at least for one video. <laughs> it's been a while. It has been a while. We'll see you real soon, and have a good night, folks. Take Cheers. Care,